Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this week we're going to be going over your strategy. So if you haven't seen the previous four weeks slash five, please go and watch those because everything that we're doing from now on is going to be related to those weeks. Make sure to go and have a look at those. They are linked in the top right corner. Go and watch those, come back to this video and then we can carry on with this one. For everyone that has done those uh, four weeks of Kind of sessions and work in this week we're going to be making your strategy now it doesn't really matter what strategy you use um if you've got a strategy that you already like or you've got a strategy that you have in mind take that and and bring that with you um if you don't have one or you're looking for a new one or you're looking for you know just to do something fresh then i'll show you three strategies so what i'll do link them up in the top right as well uh, i'll link three videos so you can go and watch those, you can go and watch those strategies. If you like them, then pick one. Um, if you don't like them, then go and find one. You know, there's there's plenty of them on YouTube. Um, just search Forex strategy, stock strategy, whatever you want to trade. Okay, just pick um, a strategy that you like or like the look of. Now, don't go for the hypey things. Okay, so don't go for something that says double your account in one day use this magical strategy or this is the strategy that you've been missing or whatever it is right don't go down the hype uh path go down the path of um consistency something that's boring and something that you can actually follow that isn't full of hype essentially so yeah pick a strategy doesn't matter which one honestly it really doesn't matter which one you pick once you've picked your strategy i want you to write out um the points from week four so if you haven't written them out write them out if you've got them next to you grab them um, and you should now have a strategy and all of the work that you've done in the last four weeks so now it's time to combine them okay so the questions that you answered last week about your trading plan we're now sticking that strategy in there now don't think about it actually working yet okay so just stick the strategy in there and then we can develop that afterwards if you've got a scalping strategy that you like but you want to be doing position trading don't try and combine them just yet okay we'll get onto that in a second but just put it in your trading plan so now you should have your full trading plan with a strategy inside of it once you've done this now it's time to actually change the strategy to fit the trading plan do not change the trading plan to fit the strategy okay that is really really key because the trading plan is something that you've developed over the last four weeks to fit with your psychology your work routine your habits the work your weaknesses and your strengths do not switch all of that work just to fit it with a random strategy that you found on youtube okay switch the random strategy that you found on youtube into the trading plan because the trading plan is where the actual money is going to be made it's not in the strategy i'll give you a little bit of an example let's say you do want to be doing position trading and you want to be doing it on the s p 500 that is what i'm currently doing so that's a good example for me to kind of show uh but let's say you found a strategy that you really really like and you think it could work well now you don't know if it's going to work well we'll get onto that in a later week but you think it's going to work well and you think it could you could trade that profitably but it's a scalping strategy on usd jpy right uh just a random currency euro usd gp usd whatever it is so these two things in theory don't connect but it's your job to sit down and break it down. So what is in that strategy? Okay, if you get rid of the currency, get rid of the time frame, what is that strategy? Is it a breakout strategy? Is it a reversal strategy? Is it a time-based strategy? Is it a fundamentals, technicals, indicator-based, price action-based? The list goes on, right? There's a lot of ways that you can trade. But break it down to its core fundamentals, okay? What is that strategy? What is it doing? Now, apply that to the S&P 500 on a weekly or a monthly basis. If you have like any questions to do with that, because I know that that is going to be a tricky, for some strategies and some things that you're trying to do, it could be a tricky process. 
So put it in the comments down below. Um, and if you're struggling, I will try and help you as best as I can. Um, obviously, I don't want you to be sharing everything because some of those things that you would have written down in previous weeks can be quite personal. So I'm not expecting you to give me everything about you. But, um, you know, if you do want some help, put it in the comments below and I will try and help you the best I can. Um, but if you're really, really struggling, we can hop onto a call um, and I can try and help you, you know, if I can. Obviously, if there's a hundred of you that want help, then I'm not going to be able to do that. But, you know, if there's one or two of, the, two of you that are really struggling, then we can hop onto a call and I can try and help. Try and implement that as best as you can to fit with your trading plan. Do not change that trading plan to fit with the strategy. That is really, really key. So once you've done that, okay, you've now got your strategy and you've now got your trading plan combined into one thing that fits perfectly okay now you don't know if it works we'll get onto that in a later week but at least you've got your trading plan now and it's fit for you right it's it's built on your strengths it's avoiding your weaknesses it's fitting around your lifestyle it's fitting around your goals all those weeks of work now have combined to bring everything together into a perfect trading plan for you not some random strategy that was on youtube that you've just thought oh this guy has said that it's amazing and he's made a thousand pounds in an hour i'm just going to copy it right because that is not going to work it needs to be personal to you and that's what you've done now you've put the work in and you've now got a trading plan fit for you so after this you've now you know you've done all the work now i want you to write down a step-by-step -step process of your new strategy with your trading plan okay so instead of just writing a step-by-step -step plan for the strategy i want you to write a step-by-step -step plan for your whole trading plan okay now do this in combination with a routine so wake up at 5 a.m okay go for a walk come back I don't know do whatever you want to do okay um but build a routine and then once you get to sitting at my desk opening mt4 mt5 whatever you're using and then write your step-by-step -step plan for your trading plan what are you going to do after that trade is opened what are you going to do once you close that computer down okay then write your routine going on after that as well. So it should look like this, okay? You've got a little section here with your morning routine. Then you've got your strategy. Then you've got your kind of after strategy routine as well. So that should be a full thing where you go from morning to night and you know exactly what you are doing every single day, okay? And it should be literally as detailed as open mt4 open smp go on to this time frame look at this pattern or whatever strategy you're using if it is this execute if it isn't this close the chart down go and do something else so obviously there's a lot more steps in there i would say if you can get 15 steps or more you're in a really really good position now i said the same thing about your goals for a reason okay now do the same thing with your strategy and write down 15 steps or more to complete that strategy perfectly there's also a little um <clears throat> strategy that i found kind of useful when i was struggling to get out of bed for example so let's say you have to wake up at 5 a.m and you really really don't want to get up at 5 a.m but you're in that kind of half awake state if you can convince yourself to stick a foot out right just a foot you don't have to get out of bed you don't have to do all the other stuff just stick a foot out okay that's all you have to do then you stick a leg out then you stick the other foot out then you stick the other leg out next thing you know both your legs are out of the bed and you know you're practically falling out of bed at that stage so then you just get up and then you just start walking and then you're done right you're out of bed sorted but that whole thing wasn't you're in bed it's warm it's cozy and now you're going to get out of bed into the freezing cold at 5 a.m to go and do something you don't want to do it's stick a leg out stick the other leg out and get up right so you've broken that 
thing that you don't want to do down into steps. Now, if you can do that in massive detail, it really, really helps with the process because you're not thinking about that end result of going from nothing, staring at your charts, to executing a trade. You're, you've got 15 steps in between that where it's tiny little tiny little goals, I guess you could say, and you're hitting each one of these little goals. And every, every single time you do that, you're getting closer to that end result and you're not feeling like you have to do it's breaking a large task down into smaller tasks, which are really, really easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been week five. Um, the strategy, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions or anything. And um, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. It really does kind of show me that this series is being enjoyed by you guys. Um, in the last kind of couple of videos, you guys have been hitting that like button and it's showing me that, you know, this is helping some of you at least, and it's um, actually worth my time to build this series out and help you. So this is week five. We've got another 11 weeks to go. So there's a lot of work still to go. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that you're enjoying it. Let me know down in the comments below if you are. And um, yeah, have an amazing day. And remember traders, trade happy.